hello guys in few minutes i'm going to teach you how to create a website with a free domain name and a free web hosting and in this tutorial i'm going to be using oowebhost.com so in few minutes i'm going to teach you how to run a website a perfectly created website using this platform so um if you are following this series this is a web design course which we have been doing um, on whatsapp and this part is one of the um the learning process which you learn how to create a website using a free web hosting and a free domain name just for practice so in a few minutes i'm going to teach you how this is done so if you are joining us for the first time please my name is um, victor and this is victory design so you can quickly come to victory design and subscribe or if you are hitting this video for the first time online you can simply come to the page and subscribe or hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this video so now as you are subscribed like as you can see I'm using uh, another computer and I'm already subscribed so you can if you want to get personalized notification you can click or if you want to just get so if you want to make um, get notification from everything every time I post you can just click or and it will be settled you receive all notification from my website for my YouTube channel sorry now I have different videos that can actually interest you if you are learning or diving into web design process and especially if you are from Nigeria I have a lot of videos that can interest you as you can see as a web designer i have one which you can learn how to find clients how you can learn how to make money as web designer i have wordpress tutorials i have web design course which is one of the video I'm calling, which this video is part of right now i have blogger course i have bitcoin and forest website course i have if you are from nigeria i have googlehost.com web hosting tutorial and i have weebly website builder so now with that being said let's dive right into the tutorial completely so now this is the web hosting we are going to be using OOO web hosting which is powered by Hostinger. As you know Hostinger is a paid platform and um, they have a subsidiary or a, a, um, a free platform which is OOO web hosting. So now we are going to re register on this platform and create an account so you can start using your domain name and your web host for free. So the first thing you want to do is to click on get started. Now it's going to show you things like this free web hosting single shared hosting um, premium shared hosting business shared hosting now because you are using this for practice sake or you are learning how to build a website with this you don't you are uh, you really do not have money to pay while you learn so you just gonna click on free sign up and then you sign up for it so now as you can see it's going to load and ask you to sign up with different means if you are uh, if you want to upgrade to hosting you can use hosting you can use login with facebook you can look login with google so um i don't want to use all these other process i'm just going to use login with google and it's going to open up my google account and then i'm going to enter my google account that's going to take some time to load once it loads then you'll be welcome with your own dashboard so as you can see instead of the main website now it has taken us to panel.ooowebhost.com this is where you can start the customization of the process of creating your website so as you can see this is your panel so you can go to old if you want the old panel which most people are familiar with you can go to old panel but if you don't you can stick with this one so the first thing people will see is your website address so you want to enter your website address or you want to click on create website they are both the same thing if you are using a premium domain name you can click on um, enter domain name so for example let's see if we are doing something like an academy so let's say v3 design academy oh sorry let me turn the caps off v3 design academy now as you click on it now you click on search it's going to check if the name is available now it's going to check if the domain name is available and by the way i'm sorry for the background noise which um you are actually experiencing i'm quite in a i'm in a busy place so please bear with me and just focus on the video so it's going to check if the domain name is available before it actually uh, tell you if the name is available and then you can go ahead with the process as you know this is a premium part you have to make payment for this as you can see you have to make payment for this but we're going to go back because we don't want to make payment for anything i'm just going to click on create a new website if you click on create a new website now it's going to ask you the name for the website which is optional but i'm going to call it i'm going to call it um victory 
design now the password let me just give you the random password now i think this is okay now is this application for wordpress now you can host um a, your own built website on this platform or you can create it just for wordpress so for this one i'm going to do i'm going to do for just wordpress and i'm going to do another tutorial on how you can just build um, and carry your website which you've designed on your computer that's for programmers and developers and put it online so now i'm going to click on the applications for wordpress i'm going to click on create so now it's going to create the um okay it so said the name is already taken so let's say you victory let's say okay g g77 visuals so i think this is okay i'm going to click on create now i'm going to see if this is also taking now it's still loading so you give it some time to load and check if the name is available or not so if the name is available they will let you know but if it's not available you'll be notified right here that this name is not available and so you will try to look for something else that is available as you can see the name is available so they are taking us to the building process or how we can continue with our website dashboard now this is our dashboard now we're going to be installing wordpress so they are asking us what do we want to do so we should give our um sorry we should install wordpress with this process but i don't want to install wordpress for now i want to take you through the dashboard so you can see the dashboard now on your dashboard you have your dashboard at the first part which contain the website um platforms and you can see your file manager your backup your domain name your packed domain and cloudflare database and such you have here now uh, these are these then you have your tools by the right hand side you have your set web address you have your file manager which you can still access from this part and you have wordpress then you have your website setting you have your general your security your chrome job your redirect your backup and all that right here so now because we have actually seen everything here we can actually start building the website using wordpress but before that let's check on this Earn money so a lot of you may want to earn money using this platform so from your dashboard you could simply earn money from it so this is the whole process of this is the um, let's say the affiliate part of this program here you can earn money I think I'm having a bad network connection so I'm going to leave that now till it's load now so we're going to be using WordPress by the way so now click on WordPress now admin username I'm going to leave that as admin admin password I'm going to call this So now this is our website url this we cannot change because that's what we choose from the beginning and once you're done with that you're going to click on install so it's going to tell you please wait this might take a while so you're going to leave it for some time while it loads and create your website for you Now our website has been created. So to visit your website, um, you have to go to your website domain name and then click on enter. And it's gonna open your website for you. As you can see, this is it. This is it. Now mind you, um the old platform or the old panel actually um shows you that your um website has been installed correctly, but this new one does not. So after filling this process and clicking on install it will just install automatically it won't let you know if it has been installed or not so you can just access that by copying your domain name and then visiting on a browser and then you can see if your website has been created now the next thing is to type in slash wp the hyphen admin so this is how you access your dashboard so uh, this is the link slash your website name the name which you choose slash wp admin you can find your website name here so you just have to copy everything here paste it on your browser and then add in this slash wp admin and click on enter it's going to take you to your back end where you can access your database of your website now i'm going to enter the username which we choose 
and then we're going to enter the password so you're going to click on login and it's going to take you to your um, back end or your dashboard of your wordpress website so this is the beginning part you've successfully created your website guys you successfully created your website and uh, let me save this and as you can see this is everything on your website dashboard so i'm going to explain this part for you everything on your left hand side and then we're going to continue with our building process so now you have the first part which is your home that is your dashboard here. This is where we. That's um, this page right here. Then the next part you have are updates. This tells you if there's any updates on your website or if your website needs updating. So I'm going to cancel this. And as you can see, please connect your website to Monster Insight. Get started with Shapely. So as you can see, these are where updates are actually needed for your website. So as you can see, your plugins are up to date. Your themes are up to date. Your translations are up to date. So inside, this is what gives you analytics on your website. The number of people that have visited your website, the number of people visiting your website, the number of people currently on your website. So we have not set the most inside. We have not set up most inside. So you can't see much about this right here. So you have the next part, which is your post. Here you can create new post, add post, create categories, and create tags. Now you have the next part, which is your media library. In media, you have a in this media library you have your where you can upload image add image delete image edit image so everything that has to do with your image your videos they are all your um, your icons they are all under the media then you have pages the pages you have your about us page you have your contact us page you have your privacy policy page this is where you create all this page then you have your comments where if you are running a blog for your website this part you see when people comment on that blog is going to be it's going to notify you here now this part called wp form is actually a form that is integrated to your website if you don't need it i'm going to still show you how you can disable it then you have your appearance and under appearance you have team customization you have team customization widget menu header background and um team file editor then you have user now supposing you want to add someone else to your website to help you manage your website you can add them here on this part as a user then you have your tools available tools you can make um add or import your old website into this part check your site head export site then you have all your wp migration so supposing you want to migrate your old wordpress website into this new one or you have a wordpress website that has a lot of content and you want to upload the content on this web new website so you can import them through wp all you want wp migration then you have your settings that consists of your reading writing discussion media permalink and privacy so that's that for this part so now the first thing we want to do is to come to permalinks so come to permalink click on permalinks and then on your permalinks you want to set your url to be professional or custom that's as you can see there are different type of permalink structure here you have this which comes with the page you have the date and the name you have the month and the name you have the numeric you have the post now if you want your website to rank very high on google you have to stick with the post name because this is what is relevant right now so you have to stick with the post name and google will literally show you up first um, you've seen some blogger websites which consist the dates and the time before this um, they come up with the post name. So for this, I advise you to choose this because it is more SEO friendly and it will help you show more on Google. Once you are done with that, you're going to click save change. So that is the first process of this, which is very, very important. Now let's go back to our dashboard and remove some things that are not important to us. So I'm going to click on this screen drop down. I don't need any information from WP forms. I don't need Monster Insight. I don't need at a glance. I don't need activity. I don't need WordPress event. I don't need welcome. So I'm just gonna leave this just like this. Then remove this. So all these other ones are the important ones I need. So this quick draft, I need it because most times I might have an idea, so I just want to paste it right here, and this is that is the reason for this. So, guys, this is the first part. Now the next thing you want to know about is plugins. So I'm going to click on install plugins and explain what they are to you and why you need one for your website. So plugins are what gives your website functionalities. They give your WordPress website functionalities. 
if you have been following my um, my youtube channel you notice that i have been making use of some plugins when i build website wordpress so plugin gives your website good functionalities and help you and help shaping your web, website now different plugins have different functions as you can see now if you go to if you come here you see askimet anti-spam and spam protection so what this one does it helps you with the security and spam protection of your website now all you want wp migration if you are migrating your old site so this new one you have this here now google analytics this is where you want to be checking your analytics nobody will have visit your site inside your dashboard so that's the reason for this now hello dolly is not really needed under construction if you want to put your website under construction then wp form if you want to include form like contact form about uh, about to, um sorry contact form and um any literal form you want to add to your website this is where you add it i hope you understand guys now after getting your basic idea about everything here i'm going to remove everything here. i'm going to explain in another video the reason so i'm going to delete this and i'm going to delete this because i really don't use only one wp migration and i'm not using migrating any site now i'm going to delete it and there's a difference between deleting and deactivating which i'll talk about in a moment so others i'm just going to deactivate and delete so let me just mark all of them now click on apply and you everything will be deleted successfully now the last part is this i'm going to deactivate this i really don't need it so now i have a free dashboard with nothing so guys that is the first part of this video we have successfully created our website and done everything that is needed to be done for our website to be live so now if you view your website or visit your website you have a free domain name and a free web host so this is our website it looks rough but we are going to transform this in the course of this series so guys thanks for watching this video as i promise you have your free web hosting and you have your free domain name on this um, part you have been able to create your website and turn your website live so if you want to see how to transform this website from what it is now to what it will be just follow and click the subscribe button or just go to the youtube channel and go to the playlist and you will see web design course so it will be in this web design course so you can watch all of them one after the other so the first video we did for this course was uh was introduction to web design terms so i actually explained everything you actually need to know as a web designer i talked about the interface i talked about web hosting i talked about domain name i talked about everything you need to know as a web designer so everything are all packed in this um, folder so you can continue and watch the video but for now this we have been able to achieve our aim with this website and having our domain name and our website live online so we are going to be beginning with the transformation if you are new to the channel as i said again please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you're watching the video from any other platform you can go to youtube and subscribe to v3 design so guys thanks for watching this video i will see you on my next video and um thanks to us guys bye i love you i'll see you on the next video bye for now